From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Today, we've got a week five matchup in store here, as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Miami Dolphins. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. Xavier Gibson now from his end zone. And he doesn't even get this to the 10. He's taken down at the 9. Okay, give some credit to the team covering the kick. But boy, what was he thinking? Stay in the end zone, take the knee, and help out your offense. Instead, you put your team in a really precarious position. from the middle of the end zone. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, Paul, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines throwing for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Here's second and seven. Rodgers going to throw. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. now on first down. He gets it underneath to Hall. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. This defense for the Dolphins, they were very good in the victory a week ago over Cincinnati. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? And he'll have a Jets first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for, a really good change of pace back. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 45-yard line. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. So five yards here, five on the play. 
And it's second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. 26. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And that to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. When you talk about this Miami defense, they were very good in the victory a week ago over Cincinnati. And I'm eager to see the game plan in trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, do you now decide that I can't throw the ball against this team and try to run it like crazy? Or do you challenge them? This is going to be fun. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. This pass out wide the hole. And the Jets are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the 9. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. On second down, a rumble hall. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And where the time has expired on the first quarter. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter. As they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And the first play will be a field goal try. This will be spotted at the 20, so it's a 30-yard attempt. Boswell's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 22. Solo left Zion. Here's A-Chan to start the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Achan. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. From the gun, it's Tua. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. That's good for 28 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. From the 47, it's second and five. 
Play action. Now it's Tua. Open there. Here's Schwartz complete. And past the 35. He'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two are connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Going to the air, tongue of Iloa. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. And again, it's Tug of Iloa. He'll dump this off to Achan. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Here's Tua. This will be caught at about the six. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Looking to pass. Tua. Toward the pylon. Caught. Touchdown, Dolphins. Anthony Schwartz, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are able to add on to that lead. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. New York offense taking over for their next possession. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp. And at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. He sets to fire deep. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins are going to have a short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Good starting field position for him as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. After the turnover, it's Tua. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. We're going to cover him like a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They think like he can win every ball. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. And he will find his man Chase complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Throwing now is Tugabailoa. That is caught at the seven yard line. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. Here's second and two now from the three. A run straight ahead with H. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Devon H. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. 
Extra point by Gain is up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. Down the numbers. There he goes. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Jets. Well, he made the right choice by result, but a little bit surprising because now with touchbacks coming back to the 25 instead of the 20, when guys field it that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. Boswell good with the extra point, and it makes the score 21 to 10. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Two and now on first down. He's going to have the hook up here to chase. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. Two are going to throw. Seconds now showing on the clock. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that way. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. And how about this line out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. Looking for Chase on the out route. He's got him. That one good for 13 and a Dolphin first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. 
And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. On play action. Here's Tua. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 12-yard line. Last play, they got stuck at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. Throw caught by Ochan. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. His pass caught at the four. Touchdown! Devon Achan. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Dolphins have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On second down, here's Rodgers. Put a pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. They'll go down as a gain of six. And now that sets up third and two. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Rodgers looking to throw on third and two. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Well, they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because they've forced big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Jets first down. And so wind up getting close to 10 yards there. They only needed one on fourth and one. Now it's Rodgers. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. Well, partner, they've certainly played up to their top 10 defensive ranking this week. They've stifled this opposing offense throughout this game. This contest is now lopsided because of their efforts, and there's still a quarter to go. 
The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 26. And again, it's Rodgers. That is caught. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 45-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. And quickly, they get to the line. On first and ten, it's Hall. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Here's a second and eight. Throwing is Rodgers. He finds Wilson. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 21. Here's Rodgers. This pass out wide to Hall. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. At the 19-yard line. On play action, it's Rodgers. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked up by Cam Smith. And the Dolphins are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. Intercepted. The Dolphins take over at first and ten at their own five The Dolphins line. at the line ready for their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. The drive starts with a run from HM. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. That's a play to applaud because these RPOs, things happen so quickly. And that ball is out of the quarterback's hands fast. He read it and reacted and was there to hit him as the ball arrived at the receiver. Big time read, big time play. He'll find Schwartz complete right side. And he gets up near the 25 to about the 24 before going out of bounds. That's good for a Miami Dolphin. Off of play action, Tug of Iloa. Looking deep here for Chase. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Partner, you and I have struggled with this for years. You've got the lead. Just take care of the football and burn some of that clock. But there's something to be said for not taking your foot off the gas as well because you can never have too big of a cushion. That one, though, falls incomplete. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and tell him to look like a turtle at this point. You just go ahead and play. It's a loss of four on the first down play. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. They fake the handoff. Now Tua escaping the pressure right. It's caught by Mike Evans. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 38-yard line. Ready. 
Now it looks like he'll throw here. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Play action, now it's Tua. And he's going to have the hook up to Schwartz. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. And again, it's Tunga Bailoa. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. From the gun, it's Tua. Flushed out right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Touchdown, Dolphins! Mike Evans, his first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins have the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. on for the point after. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Set now to kick this one away and off it goes. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Jalen Petrie picks it off. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at the 33 yard line. Running left, HN. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. We should mention to go along with a great game he had last week, he was rightfully named AFC Offensive Player of the Week. And he shares that with his offensive line, the tight end, his fullback. He's looking for more and more of that in this game. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Again, it's A-Champ. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Tackle on that play by Quinton Williams. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman. The ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed 